Welcome back to Will's Watering Hole and the first video on my channel in over a year. And today we're going to be exploring the Wildcat Falls Trail. Right now we're obviously in the parking lot, just got here. And this trail is pretty short, not much to it, but there is a really nice waterfall in the middle of it that we're going to check out today. Last time I was here, it's covered in ice. Hopefully it's not that way this time. Today I am joined by Alex. Hello. He'll be here for today and probably the next couple of videos too, as we go check out some more spots. So let's get to it. So this is the front of the trail. They got a ton of stuff over here, including some maps. So let's grab one of those. I don't think we'll need it, but it's good to have anyway. So this is the map of the trail and we are starting out right over here. This is our start point. We just got off of those roads over there. So what we're going to be doing is probably following the Falls Loop Trail. Uh, this I couldn't access last time. I don't know if we can go to that, but it was pretty blocked off. So we'll go over here, go past like a little pond area, continue down this way. We're going to go through the power line, so we're going to get a good view there. It follows the Sauhegan River, and then we're going to go over here, and there's the waterfall. It's a beautiful area. It shouldn't take us too long to get there. And then we're going to follow this area. It's kind of like foresty and hilly. And then we'll cross the power lines again, get right next to the highway and work our way back. We just got onto the trail and already here is the first kind of pond area. A few months ago when I was first exploring this, I used to see people basically like playing hockey over here. Can't do that anymore because it's pretty wet and gross, but I don't know. It could be a fishing spot for the future. Looks pretty shallow. Maybe over there we can get some good coverage. Because it's a little bit too cold to go fishing right now, like the water's barely thawing out. Some of the spots I go fishing out a lot are still covered in ice. So as soon as those thaw out, I can do some fishing videos. But until then, just want to gear things up, get back into YouTube with some exploration videos, check out a bunch of new places. I got a ton of new spots I checked out a few months ago that I want to share to this channel. And here we're coming up on our first fork. Oh, it is getting icy. Last time I was here, this whole thing was just glazed. I actually have a video. Yo, this whole trail is just ice. The whole thing. So both of these are the Falls Loop Trail, the one we're going for. We're starting off going that way and it is getting icy oh my god we just had a snowstorm yesterday um it was raining through a lot of it so most of it froze up and right here is the north loop trail which is that little red area back there i wasn't able to explore before so we're gonna go that way first it's not maintained very well but looks a little bit fun some slopes especially fun on the ice Over here, we just came to a pretty icy patch and Alex was just chipping away at it. Oh yeah. With his walking stick. Um, as I said last time I was here, it was very icy. It's better now so we can actually take trails like this that go up and down little hills, but still gotta be a little wary. I left my, my studs in my car. Unfortunately, we don't have that aid this time. So yeah, we're just going to continue down this for a little bit and loop back around and hopefully the waterfall area is going to be not covered in ice like it was last time. Because last time I was there, there's a bunch of these like big boulders that we have to climb over to get to the, like, the good views. And they were covered in ice. I was there with my friend back in uh, January and like he slid off of one of the hills, fell like like 30 feet down the hill and almost went into the water. It was treacherous. I saw another hiker there too and he was saying, you guys, you guys need studs in order to go here. Like, it is dangerous. Unfortunately, he warned us too late. Didn't have anything, so we just had to like crawl across the uh, path the rest of the way. Because standing up was just pointless. There was nothing to grab onto. It was not fun. 
This is looking way better though. I can actually, you know, walk here. Wouldn't call it hiking, but we can walk here. This is Alex's new walking stick, upgraded a little bit. Did that just break? Oh no, it didn't. No, it didn't. It, it looks like it's pretty close to you. Look at that big crack in there. Mm. Look at that view back there. Looking pretty good. Nice morning hike. The people here too we've passed so far have been really nice. Other purpose of why I'm here in doing a lot of this exploration is to find future fishing spots. This is to save time if I'm making a new video, like I can just go straight to the spot instead of searching around for a few hours and wasting time. Oh, somebody's house up there. Man just upgraded his walking stick again, picked up a fucking tree. Shit's not gonna break. All right, let's keep going. Oh, look at that gross river. I ain't gonna lie, this actually looks like a good place to swim. On second glance, this actually looks like a good place to swim. Like Alex just said. Yeah, asshole. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this kinda looks good. This is actually clear. Yeah. I was just seeing the dirt. Like I walked up and I was like, is this just solid, thick brown water? No, no, no. But no, like, this just looks, like, this looks nice. Like the current, like honestly, this could be turned into like a lazy river. On like a floaty Might be a good like spring fishing spot. A lot of you may be wondering, why am I uploading right now? It's been like a year since I last uploaded and two years since I last consistently uploaded. And honestly, I just like making videos. I mean, it's more just for, for the fun of it. I mean, I like going out there, documenting what I explore, my fishing experiences, stuff like that. I mean, it's just a fun thing to do. That's why a lot of people return to YouTube a lot upload there in the first place. The goal isn't quite to get big, but it's just to enjoy producing content. Just makes you feel productive. And I see a lot of people wanting to go on to YouTube, wanting to make it big, grow, have like a huge audience. And really there isn't any way to do that if you wanna make content you wanna make. A lot of those people out there, unless they've been on the scene for like 10 plus years they aren't making content that they're super thrilled about obviously that's not the case for everybody but like you see some of the videos that get crazy popular they got clickbait thumbnails and they're usually always about a topic that's trending whether it be some sort of news event or just something that a lot of people have an interest in so you kind of go from what you're interested in and what you want to film about and what you want to make and go to what people want to see and that's a big difference. Like hiking and fishing, there's a small audience for that. Like some of the biggest fishing YouTubers out there have like only a couple million subscribers and you see way bigger channels in the tens of millions, some even passing a hundred million, like crazy stuff. But they make content that has a broader appeal. And a lot of people who get big just stop wanting to make that because it's not what they want to do. And you see a lot of these people and they make second channels with content that they want to film. And it doesn't get as many views, but they like doing that more. Yeah, and like, I ran a few Instagram pages a while ago that got pretty big. I got into the hundreds of thousands of followers with them. But it was literally just reposting other fishing content. And that was after I stopped uploading on Will's Watering Hole. And I was like, well, I kind of miss doing stuff on Will's Watering Hole because it didn't get nearly as many views. Like, my videos get a few hundred views tops, which is not much at all. Instagram might get a little bit more, but it's basically nothing. But that's way more fun than some of the reels and videos I, I re-uploaded that got millions of views on them. But that wasn't fun. And uploading trendier stuff on YouTube, that's a little bit more personalized, but even then, a lot of people just don't enjoy doing it. And that's really what YouTube is about. It's making stuff that people wanna see. And when you kind of branch out into your interests, you might attract some people with your content as long as it's good, but it's not gonna be as many. Like, as I said, with fishing YouTubers, a few million subscribers tops with some of the biggest channels like John B, One, One Rod, One Real Fishing. They've been around for like 10, 15 years. 
and they got a couple million subscribers because there's not many people on YouTube who want to see fishing videos and not many who want to see exploration videos, hiking, stuff like that. There's a little bit more for hiking, but it's still pretty small compared to stuff like gaming, trending content, news. So really, I just do what I want. I mean, it's not gonna get the most views, but it's something I enjoy doing. And if I can share it with other people, that's just great. Came up on a nice little bridge over here. The little stream. Still not a great fishing spot, but we're getting somewhere. Getting closer to the waterfalls, which is our main attraction for this video. I will meet you guys closer to the trail. So we're back on the main trail. Right over there is where we came back onto the main loop and I just almost killed myself. There's a river again and there's the power lines. Not a great view, I'll be honest with you guys. But we're getting closer to the waterfall. We should be there pretty soon. So if you guys can hear that, that is the waterfall up there. It's getting pretty loud. We just came across a very, very icy part of the trail. Had to like shuffle our way through that. But we're coming up on it quick. The longest part of this hike was just that North Loop Trail that we went on, which is really nice, honestly. It was, came up across some houses, but it was quiet enough where I was able to just enjoy it. And as you guys can see, we are now following a blue triangle instead of a red dot. So if we don't see those, we're lost. If you guys haven't already, if you enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new, subscribe for future videos. I'm trying to get this channel off the ground and every bit of support matters. And that is a, I think it's like some sort of utility shack some electrical stuff in there maybe i don't know it's like cement looks like an outhouse it's like a clothesline against it going to that house over there yo alex do you think that can support your body weight no you want to try no, not really look at that mist right there we are almost there. This is one of my favorite spots. It takes like no time to get there and it's just beautiful scenery. So there's a few different paths we could take right here, but the one I usually go with is this one. It hugs the riverbank and it leads us up to one of the best views. So we're gonna see a lot of rocks in the way and that means we're getting closer. There's a couple of benches around here too. Last time I was here, it was completely covered in ice. Not fun. This is so much more pleasant to walk on. As you can see, I don't have to like slide my way across it. There's people up there, so we are going to stop filming and I'll catch you at the top. So we're not quite at the top yet. I wish I had a microphone, but this will have to do for now. And look how beautiful this is. It takes, if you're hurrying, and don't like explore anything, it takes like 15 minutes to get here. And we're not even at the best view yet. Oh, he's even taking some photos right now too. <laughs> uh, we still got a little bit of the climb though. Just wanted to head here for a few minutes because there's like a family going by and here at Wolf Watering Hole, we don't film that. So we're gonna hop across those rocks right there and get over to the top. All right, Alex, we're going. Oh, this is so much better without all the ice. Like, each of these was like, covered in it. All right, it's a little bit of ice, so I'm gonna be really careful. I don't know how long I can film with uh, my phone camera with like one hand. As you can see the little setup I got going on here. Not a lot of stability. Oh shit, I just like whacked myself with a piece of a tree. Oh. 
Yeah, a little icy. My feet just slid off the edge. All right, we're coming up on those good views. Over there was where my friend fell about a month ago. Very surprised he didn't like break a bone or something. Here we are. So right now we are right up against here, a little icon that says Wildcat Falls. We basically went up on this blue trail, all the way up here, down, and over to here. So our final route is going to be going this way, back up the loop trail, go over here, and then end up back in the parking lot. And we're going to get to our next site. But for now, let's just take in that awesome view. Keep the new iPhone 13, got that wide angle view. Again, one of my favorite trails around here. You want a quick, scenic morning walk, this is the place to go. Very little climbing, very little hassle or trouble. And I can't even imagine how beautiful it's gonna be in the summer or spring. I don't know. All right, look at this. Let's do this one-handed shit. It looks better in the morning, wouldn't you say? Hell yeah. I mean, I'm gonna guess it's pretty cold. Oh yeah. Oh, piss bottle. Let's go. Got a Nerf dart. Again, I hope to get a microphone pretty soon because filming areas like this are hard because I gotta hold the camera right up to my face and then yell into the microphone in order to be heard and it just sounds like i don't know kind of amateur Do a pull up. There we go, he's got it. <laughs> All right. So now we just gotta follow those same blue diamonds, not diamonds, triangles, back to where we were. So that's the main attraction of this trail, smack in the middle of it so you get a nice walk to it and a nice walk back from it. I would totally walk onto the highway right now if it wasn't for this fence. What are you doing, man? I'm trying to like lift myself up. Future fishing spot, maybe? Mm, maybe? It's a lot of overhanging weeds right there, but... 
or I don't know. It's got potential. Actually, it's right next to the highway, so I don't think so. All right, we made it back. So that is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, again, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Any support right now is appreciated. Thanks again to Alex for appearing in this video. And um, I plan on getting some more exploration videos out between now and April. And hopefully by the beginning of April or late March, as more things thaw out, we got a couple of warm weeks ahead of us, I'll be going fishing and we can start off doing that stuff. I've been looking forward to that for a while now. Last year was just awful for fishing. Couldn't get many videos in. And even 2020 was just shit. Like we didn't get much. Hopefully this year our luck will change. Um, since I got the old car now, we can go and explore some more spots. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.